question 19 was about our when pigs fly lab remember what you did in the lab you had that pig fly around you used the laser to figure out the radius and you used well you used a meter stick you used the laser to pinpoint where it was you measured the length of the string they're talking about the length of the string as l and then what you could do so ultimately select two answers which of the following measurements could the student use to determine the net centripetal force exerted on the toy net centripetal force because if I were to think of the forces that act on my piglet at this position, I will have the mg, the tension that would be vertically balancing my mg, and then horizontally giving me the centripetal force, right? So my net force is just centripetal force. And then it's mv squared over r. If I know my angle, I could find this angle right here, and then that would be the same angle right here. If I have the angle of the string with the vertical, then then I can say that my force centripetal is force of tension times, force of tension is the hypotenuse, times sine of theta. I mean, if I had a force sensor, for example, I could do that. If I don't have a force sensor, let's see if I can get R and then period. So I can do just strictly, if I go force centripetal equals mv squared over R, if I measure R and I measure time, so period, then I can figure out the v squared and then I will have to measure mass. So is their um, version. Use the scale, okay? Promising. Mass of the toy. Got it. Protractor to determine the angle. Uh-huh. And then the string makes with the vertical line. That's it. Okay. Well, is that an option? If I do that, let's see. If I have... So do I have an option like that? Let me see if I have an option like that. So I need the period and I need mass and radius. Stopwatch to determine the time. Uh, meter stick to measure the radius and scale to... Yeah, I'm liking this. C is definitely something that I can do. So see how I get... I get mass. If I measure period, then I can get V. And then if I have the meter stick, I can measure R. Boom. All right. What are my other options? If I know mass, I can get G. And then from this triangle right here, if I measure this angle of the string with the vertical, I will know this one and then if can I can use the tangent right because if c equals mg tangent of of theta if this is theta then that is theta and this is the opposite so it's mg times tangent of theta will be the opposite which is fc is there an option like that use the scale to determine the mass of the toy use the protractor to determine the angle boom that's it all right so my correct answers are a and c for this case